Oh hey humans, it's been a while and um, well as many of you know I've been quite busy and um, I've been, I've just finished doing my NLP practitioner certification and some hypnosis in there and timeline therapy which is super exciting because most of you know I love all things human capacity, human truth, human growth, exploration and just kick ass humans doing the real thing. So. Clint and I have just come over the border and we are hanging out down here in Byron Bay which is amazing chilly weather I haven't been able to wear a jacket in so long so long so I'm really enjoying that um, but so in alignment with what I did with the NLP practitioner course we've been challenged to get our shiznies together and start really getting out there with our services so as many hey Joy so as many of you know I have been off the radar for a bit I've been on the down low replenishing pondering pulling apart reconstructing and loving what is and just really exploring that space um, so it's I have a lot of resistance doing this because I've been wanting to hide for a bit longer but ultimately it's been more about just for so many years you guys have seen me create and do and be so much and I felt really like a fraud in my own space because I knew there was so much more I wanted, but I was too scared to go out there and simply ask for what I want. And I really love the topic that guys have used for day one's challenge around asking for what you want. Because that is legitimately exactly what's been going on. I asked for someone who would see, love, nurture, connect, understand me, and allow me to be the crazy mofo that I am. And this one right here, somehow my <laughs> equal. And we managed, as a, a friend of ours said, then two neutron stars collided and we found each other, which has been marvelous. So I actually asked for what I want. I got a king, which is cool. And then asking for what I want, we literally just had such a giggle. We're going down the street and we just walked past these um, interesting humans, as you do in Byron Bay. <laughs> and they had this sign sitting there and they're all in their hippie clothes, just doing their thing, that's cool. And their sign was, can you bring it up? I'm gonna share it in my news feed in a minute. But it was, we are busking with awesomeness. Please donate beer, smokes, and wheat. I mean, like, you know what? Everything's on. That. That's so awesome. Like, go you. Awesome life. Ask for what you want. Be honest about it. Be honest <laughs> about it. Don't hide yourself. Don't hide your stuff. Hey, any. Don't don't hide behind the shadows. Start asking for what you want. And I've been about this my whole life, asking for what you want because you don't know the answer. Unless you ask the freaking question. The universe and the people around you don't know what you want unless you ask the question. And what's the worst that's gonna happen? You'll get a no? Cool, so what? Reshape, re remove something or change something and move the hell on and start asking for more things. And ironically, when you start doing that, life just starts dishing out more and more things and you start really seeing the more capacity and people and places and hey Belinda, hey Kate, Everything starts to come around and give you what you want because you're asking for it. And I think that's a, a huge societal fear is to be truthful and, and honest about what you actually do and don't want. People are scared of judgment or people are scared of rejection or people are scared of um, not finding it, which ultimately is just you not diving in and taking charge and, and, and being more involved in your life and making things happen. So um, someone's don't. calling me and that's not going to happen. You don't um, know, the answer is always no. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Um, and this is what, <laughs> funnily enough, led me to leave South Australia was the fact that my family, love you, love you, love you. Um, many of my family were stuck in that paradigm so much. It was, it was suffocating me that so many down there were stuck in that because they wouldn't ask for what they want, ever. But then they'd whinge and whine that they never got what they want. And that then leads to a lot of judgment and a lot of distaste for the life they live and judgment upon other people. Because then what happens? Someone around them's having a great life. Shana moves to Queensland and starts doing the things. Has such a great life on the outside, but they forget to see the work which many of us put into that to create, to be, to inspire, to ask, to do. Um, and I think that was a big, big awareness for me was moving away from that and realizing there's actually really cool humans in the world that are also out there asking big questions, that are also out there doing the things. So I know I've been hiding for a bit, so 
a lot of me wanted to say no to this challenge and I decided it was about time I get my ass into gear and start doing a bit more and, and getting back out there because I have got a lot to share. I am, who's the hot guy? That's my, that's my man. <laughs> Where? Just check it, just Where? check it. <laughs> so, I know I've been away for a long time and I know that there's about 12 of you that are asking for me to create programs and get back into coaching. I have got two one-on-one -on -one clients at the moment on the Sneaky. I know they're very, very lucky. Um, but I am formulating and creating. We've had Easter coming up. I'm going to wait until that's died down and I've got a bit more time. Our coindom has been skyrocketing. To be honest, I've shut down just about everything and we've really been focusing on this coin world because we've seen the potential, the growth, the love, the capacity. We've also got something that we're doing tomorrow. So we're down here, we checked out the quantum. In this, this whole world of crypto is amazing. And it's created so much abundance. And we were just saying on the way down here, we've been seeing, doing, and connecting with people that we never would have done in the past. Like, you might walk past the shop and you're like, oh yeah, nice, I might go in there one day or I might find that valuable. But literally, because of what's been created in this crypto world, we're actually choosing to go and spend our money, wealth, finances with these places because they're a part of these directories. And we've got income coming in from that. So we're choosing to go and look within our communities to spend this abundance with those people, which is leading to a lot of businesses getting referrals. You guys see me post and I see you guys going into those places because I know you're watching, which is beautiful, amazing, great job. Um, but I think it's really awesome we're really feeling the abundance of that because we would everyone. never, this is for everyone, we would never have gone to these places had we not be a part of this community. And most of you would have not seen these places had it not been for us, like had it not been for this community. Belinda, <laughs> you're a crack up. <laughs> anyway, so apparently I should do more videos with this one because it gets more of you watching. Shut um, off. Shut off. <laughs> got cripples now it's cold um, and so anyway back on point Belinda um, so basically yeah it, it, it's the awareness that I know I've been hiding I'm gonna create more I will have a lot more to share because I stopped trying to people please and I slowed down and really got clear of what I wanted to be and to share and to show because I wanted wholeheartedly and unapologetically to be able to show up for you all in my greatest capacity without wavering from that. So just know that when I get there and when I share, it's gonna be from absolute, my max capacity of greatness because that's how much I wanna be in this world and I wanna change and share and love and nurture humans because I see your potential and whether or not you do completely, um, that's my mission. To be there to create and to love with all of you so much more. Um, so yeah, the message for today is you should always ask for what you want and don't be scared of the answer because whether you get the answer you want or not, it's still the answer you need and um, just follow the truth, follow your heart and uh, love more. Adios amigos, that's all for today.